three two men on for Barry Larkin. They may stroll home at a leisurely play at pace as Barry will. Off Mike Mims, 3-0 lead, number 15 for Larkin. 3-1 Reds now, top of the eighth. Larkin against Mims again. Same result. Second homer of the game. It stretches since he's lead to 5-1. Reds get a little defense too, bottom of the ninth. Jim Eisenreich at the plate. Gets into one, but maybe a little bit off his fist, and that gives Reggie Sanders just enough room. Reds win the third straight over Philly, score 5-3, and Larkin account. Rhino and the Cubs opt for Sammy Sosa. It was 5-1 Giants in the fifth until Sosa unleashes a two-run job, number 32 for him, 5-3 Giants. In the seventh, we're now tied up at 5-2 on Mark Dewey. Facing Sammy Sosa, it might be, it could be, it is. His second of the game, number 33 of the year, that leads the league. Five RBIs for Sosa, that ties a career high. Cubs win, Cubs win. This is his cult leader powers for good instead of evil. Top first, Brewers lead 2-0. Jose Valentin lines a shot off Rusty Meacham. Dave Nielsen will score. Greg Vaughn said, that looks like fun. I'm going to try it. He smoked meat getting it done at the dish. Milwaukee up 3 nothing. Bottom five, Mariners down 3-2, Buhner. Number 27 of the year, that ties the game at three, and perhaps more importantly, it makes lots of bald-headed fans happy. Top seven, Milwaukee up 4-3, Dave Nielsen. Insurance homer off last minor. First of two on the night for Nielsen. It's 5-3 Brewers. They would go on to win it 7-3. Scott Carl gets the W. He's the first Brewer lefty to win 10 or more games since West taking on the Yankees. Doc Gooden getting Warren Newsom. Kevin Elster, free frame. See the lead leads. Five Ks for Gooden on the evening and a little D behind him. Juan Gonzalez, a little fly to left field. Sierra's coming in. Jeter's going out. Jeter, sweet play. Yankees hold the Rangers to just two hits. Yanks much better at the plate. In the fourth inning, no score. Dino Martinez, a base hit off Roger Pavlik. Paul O'Neill brings us the score home. Daryl Hamilton's throw, not going to get him. One nothing Yankees. Bottom seven is three nothing Yankees. There's Tino again. Fly ball to right center. Daryl Hamilton, Warren Newsom, nobody. Ball bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Boggs would score four nothing Yankees. Martinez 70th RBI of the year. And the Yanks would go on to win at six nothing. Top of the second, Astros leading one nothing. Mike Hampton gives up the base hit to John Flaherty, who extends his longest hitting streak in the majors to 24 games. The next batter, Rob Deere, whose hit streak isn't anywhere near close to that. Doubles to left center field. Flaherty scores. This game is tied at one right there. Same inning. Arky Cian Frocco reaches on the catcher's, catcher's interference, bringing Jody Reed to the plate. And he comes through with the base hit. Deer scores. Padres take a 2-1 to one lead. Let's go to the fifth now, where we're tied at three. And Cian Franco's at the plate again. And this time, he gets hit. So he reaches on a catcher's interference and a hit by pitch. Tough night for Cian Franco, but brings in Steve Finley because the bases were loaded. It was 4-3 now with Derek Bell with two men on. Tim Worrell gets him to end the threat. And the Padres go on to win this puppy by the final of... 7-4. to four. After Hampton hit Cian Franco, John Hudek came in and promptly balked in an insurance run. Tough night there. Scott Sanders went six and two-thirds. Top of the first, Chipper Jones. Got it. And Chipper drives Off of Todd Stottlemyre, his 20th of the year. And the Braves go up 1-0 just like that. We're staying in the top of the first still. Ron Gant off of Jermaine Dye comes in and makes the diving catch. And we need to check this out again to show you that he made the catch barehanded. Ouch. Top of the third, it's Marquise Grissom in in a 1-1 game, and he busts out the whooping stick against Todd Stottlemyre. Off the breaking ball, the Braves go up 2-1. Now, Ozzie Smith, he may be retiring at the end of the year, but he still can show it off and shows Rafael Belliard just that. Great catch. And appropriately enough, he gets the high fives upon returning. However, the man who had the great stuff, John Smoltz, facing Ron Gant at the plate. Here's the pitch from Smoltz. He struck him out. And the Braves win, three to two. As Smoltz earned his, I'm looking to have win number 11 on his record on the season. However, in the fourth, he walks Greg Gagne with one out. And the next batter, Mike Piazza, walks. And the batter after that, Eric Karros walks to load the bases. And now he's loaded them up. You can see them loaded right there for Mike Bush, who rips one down the left field line for a base-clearing 
double. The Dodgers would go on top 3 0, and this would be the only hit LA could get off Leiter. However, the Marlins fighting back in the sixth by loading the bases, and Kilby Overis at the plate. And he hits one down the left field line. Billy Ashley running and makes the catch. And Craig Colburn tries to tie up, tag up, and that's a mistake. He is out at the plate. The score remains 3-1, to one, and Dodgers go on to win. In game number two of the evening, Pete Harnish going for New York, bottom one. Dante Bichette goes the other way with it. A two-run job is 19th on the year, and just like that, Colorado has a 2-0 lead. The very next batter, the big cat, Megadittos. This one, a solo shot to left center, his 25th of the year, the ninth time. Rocks have gone back to back this year. It's 3 0. But the next hitter, Vinny Castilla. Back to back to back. Rockies lead 4 0 after one, and they were slapping them out of that phone booth in a hurry. And Pete Harnish, it is not good to hide your feelings, and he doesn't. Mets closes to 7 2, top of the six. Pitch hitter Andy Tomberlin with the bases juiced. Takes one to the wall. It clears the bases. Colorado up only 7-5. Mets would come back to tie it at 7 until the bottom of the 6. Eric Young right up the chute. Castilla and Jeff Reed would score. It's 9-7 Colorado. But the Mets aren't quite done just yet. Top of the 8th, Todd Hundley steps in. Got a couple of guys on, and there are going to be a couple of guys off. Rips one to the gap. Jose Vizcaino saying, follow me. I know the way to the plate. Bernard Gilkey does just that. Mets even it up at nine apiece, and Don Baylor says, uh, I don't care. We're at home. We're going to win. 10-9 Mets, bottom of the eighth. Bichette. Dante and Inferno. Eric Young comes in to score. Rockies have it all locked up at 10. Now to the bottom of the ninth. We're tied at 10. The bases are loaded. Dallas Green trying to move the fielders around. Does it get Eric Young. Dramatic? Off Doug Henry gets it right by him and ball game. Rockies win a wild win at Coors Field. 11-10 the final. Bichette finished up four for four, three RBIs. Galarraga three for four, four risks. Both ends of the double dip. Rockies blew a 7-1 lead, but able to come. A fifth starter before the game. One, two, pace. Hayes played some defense. Rafael Bornegal dives, throws from his knees, and gets Dave Martinez. Top of the fourth, A's trailing 1 0, and not any more. Mark McGuire, in most ferocious fashion, 458 feet longest by a Sox opponent in the new Comiskey. He's got 35 homers, leads the majors tied at one, and unfortunately for the good guys, it was the other team putting them on the board. Yes. Terry, Terry Steinbach, the bases loaded, his 24th homer of the year, eighth career grand slam. And the A's win this game by the final of 8-4. to four. Athletics are officially on fire. They've won three straight set base. Pat Henkin facing Jeremy Burnett. Yeah, gets him swinging and gets him out of the jam. And and Chad O.J. facing Joe Carter in the bottom of the second. And Carter responds with history. His 23rd homer of the year and 350 for his career. Congrats to Joe and Blue Jays go up 1-0. O.J. Hard Wood Cruz That's after that. Retiring the next 10 batters, Sandy Martinez yeah, swinging. But in the bottom of the fifth, the of OJ would run out of gas, not on the 405, but in Sky Dome. Score tied at one, and Sean Green takes him out with a man on. The Blue Jays go on to win it, three to one. Pat Henkin scat pitching. Be a tough Tim Barty to at the plate. Shot to short. Gary DeSarcina can't come up with it. Travis Fryman will score. Here comes Big Daddy rumbling to the plate. The Angels had three errors on the evening, and they would be costly. Tigers win it by a count of 8-3. to three. Jose Lima shut out California for two and a third to pick up the victory, and Chad Curtis hit his first homer ever against his former Angel teammates. Orioles have lost seven of nine at home, hosting the Twins. Brady Anderson. Playing with a bad appendix, Alomar. Robbie Alomar, top of the third, Five twins up one nothing. Alomar to right center. That'll be deep enough for a sack fly to score Luis Polonia. RBI number 57 for Alomar, game tied at one. Top eight now, one out, Orioles up 2-1. Paul Molitor came into the game in a six for 29 slump, and boy, that'll take care of that. Triples to right center, Anderson able to cut it off. Pat Mears, he's going to keep on running. The relay, no, almost got stuck in the mud on that slide. RBI number 68 for Molitor. And then Alan Mills, the old 55-foot curve. Hoyles can't find it. Molitor's heads up, and he brings in the gamer. 3-2, Minnesota wins it. And Baltimore's dropped. They got started, and Jose Offerman, did he get started? 
First batter of the game, he looks at strike three, and perhaps Jose didn't fare too well in the card games during the delay because he has words with Al Clark and gets the gate. He's getting a little bit of help. One man in after a two-hour delay almost. One up in socks, top of the fourth. Pip Roberts grounds to Vaughn with two men on, and Vaughn's throw hits Tom Goodwin in the back. Craig Paquette scores and tied at one, and then in the top of the sixth, Paquette did some damage with his whooping stick. Deep and over the green monster, his 12th of the year. The Royals go on to win this thing eventually by the final of 7-5. And Kevin Apier, a.k.a. Trade Bait, won his fourth straight start. He gave up two runs on five hits and five and a third, and KC has won seven of nine. And the good thing from... This is from the Beat the Trade Deadline Department, Reese. The Sox sent Jeff Manto to Seattle for Archimedes Pozo. Now we know. Back to the National League. Pirates and the wild card hunting expos. Bottom six tied at one. Jay Bell, the little blooper. Cliff Floyd coming hard. No, everybody's safe. It loads the bases, but Cliff says, well, who cares about that? I tore my pants. <laughs> Next batter, Mike Kingery. With the bases juiced, master of his domain. Off Pedro Martinez, the grand slams. Kingery's second job of the year. Pirates win it by a count of five to one. John Lieber allowed six hits while striking out four to pick up the win. Martinez says bloopers are falling. Little.